hi guys my name is Alice and you are welcome to my channel um, how are you guys doing how are you guys been keeping up the holiday is over and we are back to serious business like we are back to serious business and I really 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 I'm not joking this year anyways today's video is just about the things I wish I knew while I was in my 20s like the, the habits I wish I formed things I wish I did what I wish I did not do and then um, yeah and all of all those not fun stuff so mind you this video is not like a caution or is not the idea behind this video is not to make you feel bad if you are over 30 20 and you're in your 30s like I am instead we are going through what we did in our 20s and we are trying to see if we can correct it I'm always of the notion that 30s is not the end of it in fact that's where your life begins and there was there are some things I wish I knew or things I wish I did better that will make my life better in my 30s but it's okay we all do not know everything we all make mistakes and it's okay if we are trying to correct them so that is what this video is all about i hope you guys enjoy watching this video so the first thing i wish i knew better was money i wish i understood what money was i wish i understood having a great attitude towards money i wish i understood savings i wish i understood investments i wish i understood um you cannot help everybody you meet because if you do that how will you save for yourself i wish i understood priorities and all of all that so now that i'm in my 30s i am gradually understanding that i need to save i need to invest i need to know what investment plan to put on put my money in i i learned how to prioritize do i really need this do i not need this thing i choose what i want to buy not because of the heck of it now i actually ask myself alice do you want this do you need it so badly and if i do i buy i learned planning i learned yeah that is what i learned in my like that's what i am trying to figure out now in my 30s which i wish i knew in my 20s at times i remember i had so so and so money i just blew it in buying things that now i don't even have have account for them so yeah one of the major things i wish i knew better was i wish i knew money i knew what i would have used my money for how to save how to prioritize how to invest and all of all that trust me i'm still struggling with this but i wish i was even at a struggling stage in my 20s i know that if i was in my struggling stage in my 20s now that i'm in my 30s i would do better but no one if it's nigerian people that's what they'll say no problem when you know better you do better in relationship i wish i did not overlook red flags i wish i did not think um like okay for instance i meet a guy now and he comes presenting this persona this is who he is these are the things he can do this is what he cannot do i wish i did not say oh don't worry i will date him but i will let him know what i actually want and i'm sure because he loves me and because i am special he will do better by me i wish i saw people and just took them for their surface value like just took them exactly the way they came like somebody was telling me that if you want to be with somebody just imagine they never get better than they are now will you stay a lot of us enter relationships with the plan or idea that they will change, they will be better people, they will grow. Why are you projecting yourself on them? That is one of the things I wish I learned in my 20s. Like, instead of thinking people would know better, people would read, people would study, people would travel, people would have a right attitude towards life, people would think the way I do, why not just see? Is this who they are? Yes. Are they ready to change? No. Is this what you can live with? No. Then leave instead of wasting time with them. Do you understand? This is not a bashing video. Like I am not saying they are not great people or whoever I was with or whoever I was. I dated amazing people. Trust me, I have one of been I am one of the most luckiest people with men. But I wish I knew that I will not project myself on them. Like because I want them to be like this, I do not like i hope you understand me like i i wish i did not project myself on them like i have a dream on what a man should looks like should look like or how a man should behave i wish i did not project it on them thinking they will be that despite them or despite me knowing that that is not who they are and they cannot change or maybe i did not know 
yeah so i wish i took men for who they really were instead of who i thought they would be so if you are in your 20s do better if you meet somebody and he says this i am or he shows himself that's who he is do not think ah oh, because i am princess or because i know better or because i am this or because i behave well he will behave well now take him for who he is and who he presents to be i think it's a better way to um see life or it's a better way to handle relationships even be friends too take them for who they are now Hopefully, if they, you see, and the thing is, some of all these men, in fact, some of them change. Great, so good for you, but what if they never change? Then you will now be there thinking, Oh, I thought he would know that this marriage is so important and he will adjust. That's not who they are. Another thing I wish I did better in my 20s was in the aspect of friendships. I wish I made deliberate efforts to have quality friends. Yeah, I'm somebody that has a lot of friends, but... I would say in my 20s, I was packing friends without checking like the content of my friendship. Like I wish I had or made quality friendships. Like now in my 30s, I can say I really have great friends. I have great sisters that are by my side. So despite us having differences and all, we know that this person is in my corner and at the end of the day, they really, really love you so i wish i made meaningful friendships in my 30s it not doesn't mean i didn't make great friends in my 20s but now they are more meaningful because i'm now checking the quality of the friendship and i am being deliberate to be a better friend yeah like imagine when um i went to a party a friend of mine her mom was 60 i think yes yeah, her mom was 60 and she had like friends on her table, they were over eight friends, they've been friends for a while since in their thirties, they've done life together, they've cried, they've... like that's the kind of a thing I want to be, I want to be like doing my 50th birthday and I have friends that have been friends with me since I was in my twenties, in my thirties, we've been through so much, I know that they are my sisters, fine, trust me, in friendships like that people have a lot of disagreement and all, but you know deep down in your heart that these are my tribe. I wish I knew that, but it's not still too late because Texas is just the beginning. So being deliberate, showing up for them, when they are doing functions, thinking about them, when they are sad, you are there for them, sacrificing. I wish I did all of all that, like I was so deliberate about friendship in my 20s. But it's not too late. Now that I'm in my 30s, I'm making real authentic friends, friends that will help me grow, friends that will help me in my career friends that would just lift you or make you feel better about life because life is so stressful and I was telling somebody you need girlfriends like imagine if you say oh I don't have friends my husband is my best friend trust me he has friends and it's so sad to put a lot of burden on one person like you need balance you need people that are going to be there for you emotionally they are there like you cannot compete or you cannot say or you cannot um, underestimate the importance of having girlfriends if you're my girlfriend watching this say hi in the comment section yeah moving on another thing I wish another thing I wish I did better or knew was being confident like I wish I was very confident in myself like people that know me in my 20s will say ah Alice Alice you were so confident like but deep down in me I was dealing with a lot of body dysmorphia I didn't like how I looked I was doing yo-yo diets before you knew it I'm size 12 before you knew it I'm size 14 then I'm back to 18 like I was not confident in myself I would not be able to wear some clothes I did not accept my sexuality and all of all that that died in 20s and I think it's what maturity of life does to you. As I became 30, I started growing into myself, loving my calves, loving my body, understanding my womanhood. And trust me, it's been amazing. So when I look back, I'll be like, what the hell was I thinking? I could have just accepted myself the way I was. Fine, I am all for working out, trying to eat healthy, but still, I did not like how I look. And trust me now guys i totally totally appreciate how i look because i think i'm very 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 beautiful another thing i wish i knew was my worth i wish i knew my worth 
how amazing I am, what value I am bringing. So this would have really, really helped me and coped with the excesses I took from people, from colleagues at work, from people I was in a relationship with, from friends. I wish I knew my worth, I wish I knew I was the shit. Maybe I would not have taken a lot of disrespect that I took while in my 20s. In my 20s, I was um, confused with myself, who I am, my essence, and all of all that. What I learned in my 30s was accepting myself as I am, not seeing that is a crime or me being the way I am. I do not see myself as a sin. I was in touch with my inner self. I spoke to people that know better than me that are seeking therapy. I understood my mental health, like I battled with terrible anxiety. I understood that it can be a strength in a way. I did not, I stopped, I stayed talking about my mental health because it's amazing that your close friends or people that are around you know the state of your mental health so that they know the things that trigger you out try to stay away from it so i would categorically say i am living the most authentic on authentic life i am i am i am very authentic in my thirties. like i am enjoying the life i am living in my thirties because i'm not trying to be apologetic i'm not trying to be who i am not i'm not trying to fake anything i am myself and so my thirties came with a lot of audacity like I knew that this is the life I want to live and I faced it despite what it looked like to others. Another thing I did was I was able to shed all of all the expectations from people, the training I was giving. Fine. I was telling somebody, I was telling my brother that there's a lot of in our family we are very shielded because of the kind of upbringing we had. We had a very good kind Christian upbringing. Apart from that, we had a lot of moral or bringing like apart from Christianity like being nice to people being kind being being warm being soft and all of all that that's how we were raised but what I was able to share was all of all those believe that when you do this yeah you're committing a sin when you do this when you show who you are when you own yourself you are being pride or be are being proud I don't say prideful you're being proud or when you Tell yourself I achieved this you are being egoistic yeah I was able to shed all of all that and now accepted myself that I am fantastic I am the way I am and all of all that and it has been amazing I hope I'm making sense so yeah this is where we come to the end of the video thank you guys for watching I hope it was helpful in a way please i would like to hear from you guys what do you guys think what are the things you learned in your 30s that you wish you did better in your 20s feel free to, feel free to comment i'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and yeah thank you guys for watching do not forget guys keep being your amazing self live a very deliberate life and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys